What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. The summer is coming to an end, but the favorites keep on coming. This video is going to be all my beauty favorites from the month of August. If you want to chill out with me and talk about some makeup that I've been absolutely loving for the past couple of weeks, then keep watching. As always, friends, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Sophia. I'm a complete beauty addict and I upload new makeup reviews, favorites videos, and other beauty related videos every Every single week so if you would love to join us we would love to have you hit that subscribe button to join our fam and as a reminder friends I will have all the products that I mentioned today and anything that is on my face linked in that description box down below I do earn a small commission when you shop through my links so thank you in advance to anybody who chooses to shop through them you guys know I really appreciate it moving along friends I have been testing out a couple of new foundations recently the foundation that I want to give a shout out to today is the new one from Glossier this is the Glossier stretch liquid foundation. I've really been enjoying this. I was surprised by this because it's called the stretch foundation, but it's nothing like the stretch concealer. The stretch concealer is very like emollient and shiny. And this one is not. This is a very Goldilocks medium coverage foundation. It's not super glowy, but it's also not super matte. It has a lot of hydrating ingredients but it doesn't, it just doesn't really make you look very dewy, which is kind of what I would expect from Glossier, but I'm not mad about it. This is what I'm wearing on my face today. So you can kind of see this really nice natural, just very perfected type of look. I wouldn't say it looks super skin-like because you don't really get that slight dew, but it looks very, very perfected. And I like the coverage. I like the wear from it. It's very beautiful. I did do a full review of this product. It's already up on my channel. If you want to see kind of a more detailed wear test and application, you want to hear like what skin types it's good for. So I will link that down below, but I did just want to give this a shout out. I've really been enjoying it. And I also really like the packaging. It's like very weighty and luxe. I picked this up at my local Glossier Boutique, which we now have on Newberry Street in Boston. And I have shade light two. So I'll list that in the description box in case we are shade twins. Concealers. I have two concealer favorites for this month and I don't think anyone's gonna be surprised. One of them is the new makeup by Mario Concealer. I was looking on Sephora and the reviews of this are not good. I don't know why. So I need you guys to tell me if you like this concealer. I'll be honest, I have not watched another review. I just tested it out myself and I really like it. I think it goes really well with the Glossier foundation actually because they both are a decent amount of coverage but not like, you know, like, old Instagram style, super high coverage, super matte. And then they're not like serum-y, glowy, you know, don't last that long, needs a lot of powder. They're both kind of in that very similar category. It gives me some blurring. I don't find that it creases. I don't find that it dries out my under eyes or anything. I've got no reaction from it. I really like it. I think it's a really good standard concealer. It has a very creamy texture. It's very easy and effortless to apply. I don't think you need to set it. A lot of people have agreed it is kind of like self-setting. The only caveat, like the only complaint that I have about it is that the shade range is a little bit weird. The first color that I got was way off. And so I decided to get the shade 180, which is light with a slight golden undertone. And I feel like it works pretty well for me right now. I am a little bit tanner. I got a little bit of color this summer, even though I've been wearing my sunscreen and I feel like this one works really well. The other concealer that I've really been liking, which is a different texture, is this one from Chantecaille. This is the Le Camouflage Stilo Anti-Fatigue corrector pen. I've been wanting to try this one for a while, but every time there's a sale or I'm picking something up from Chantecaille, it's always sold out. I don't know why, but you know what? It's really nice. This is a really good concealer if you have dry skin or mature skin. If you just overall want something that's very hydrating, it comes in one of these click pens. You just punch it on the other end and then it comes out. It's very easy to apply, very moisturizing and blurring. It's very similar to the Clay de Poe concealer that comes in the Click Pen, that very famous one that everybody loves. I like that one too, but you know what? I think I like this one more. I think I like this one more, guys. I think I like the Clay de Poe more to put in my purse for like little touch-ups here and there. But this one, I think it's not as thick. And so for something that's in a pen, it's easier to spread 
around your eyes, but still gives the same amount of coverage and blurring. It's a really beautiful concealer. And once again, you know, if you have something like this in a click pen, it's really easy to bring around with you in your purse for touch-ups and that kind of stuff. So a lot of times what I will do is that whether it is Chantecaille or Clé de Peau, I'll use the stick concealer to do my makeup. And then I will bring this to do like my little touch-ups throughout the day. So yeah, I really like this. Good job, Chantecai. Speaking of Chantecai, look what else made it into this video. This is from the Wild Mustang collection that I said I wasn't gonna pick up, but then so many of you told me that you wanted me to review this collection and I didn't pick up the whole collection. I was pretty good, but I was in Saks. It was tax-free weekend. I was feeling spendy. I didn't really buy anything else, okay? I was good. I just bought a birthday gift for my friend and I bought this, okay? And you know what? I really like this. I think this is the first Chantecai eyeshadow that I actually like. Not that they are horrible or anything, but they're very expensive. The eyeshadow singles, I think that these are $48, maybe with tax, they're around the $50 mark, which is absolutely insane. But hey, I do really love the cute little horsey on the front. And the shade that I got is called Pinto. And it's a beautiful, cool toned, nudie mauve. It's not quite a gray, it's not quite a brown, it's not quite a purple. It's really beautiful and the shimmer is very subtle. I did use it as a topper in the center of my eye today, but I also recently did a Get Ready With Me where I put this all over the eye so I can link that video down below. I feel like you don't get too much fallout from it. This formula feels a lot smoother and less chunkier than the other two that I purchased from the main line. When I first started the brand, I bought two of these. I can't remember, I think it's like the lion and the cheetah one. And they're nice, but like I said, for $50, I just didn't really get it. So yeah, guys, I really like this. I wanted to give Chantecaille a shout out. I do really enjoy this. I still think you should try and get this on sale because they are just so, so expensive. I wanted both of the shimmer ones, but even I, didn't wanna spend that money on two single eyeshadows. But hey, it's cute. I do really like it. Next up, I gotta show a little bit of love to the new Redimension Hydro Powder blushes from RMS Beauty, or I should say the three new shades that they launched. They did kindly gift these to me, but this isn't sponsored or anything. You guys know I love these. I already did a review of these and all the new stuff from RMS here on my channel if you wanna check them out. Spoiler alert, I really love all the shades, but my favorite shade is this one right here. It is called Que Royale. This is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. This is the best one I think for fall because it goes good with all of those kind of fall berry tones, a berry lip like the one that I'm wearing today. But it's great if you don't want anything too, too bright. In one of my recent Get Ready With Me's, I tried on that beautiful bright berry blush from Patrick Ta, which I do really, really like. But if that is like too intense for you, this is a good option because these are pigmented, but they're very buildable. And of course they give you like this, oh, this like beautiful radiance. I love, love, love these. And of course, every time I use it, I want a Cure Royale. I love pretty much anything with champagne and bubbles. And then the other favorite that I have here from RMS are the new eye lights. So I reviewed the three new shades, but this is the first time I've ever tried this formula. And I actually really like them. I don't know why, but I was kind of thinking that, you know, just because RMS has a lot of other cream products that are very like emollient, more like coconut oil based, I was thinking that maybe these would be similar, but they're not. These are a really beautiful long wear formula. They are crease proof. I showed you guys a couple of tips for application in that video. So make sure you check that out for more details. But the shade that I'm using today, which I then put the Chantecai Wild Mustang single on top, the shade that I'm using today is called Moonstone. And I think that this is a really good one to get to pair with any of the other colors in the range, either as a one and done like I have now, or this one is really good to kind of mix with other shades, kind of brighten up the inner corner. Anyway, I showed you in my review, so check out the review, but I need to give these a shout out because I really do like these, and these have been a game changer for me when 
getting ready for work on the days that I have to go into the office because it's just so quick and I don't really have to think about it. I just pop on one of these, I grab one of the new blushes and that's kind of been my work routine for the past two weeks. The Benefit Fan Fest Mascara. I've talked about this a couple times on my channel so I won't talk about it too, too much. This is a really nice mascara. It's really nice if you like length and separation. For me, I feel like it gives a decent amount of volume but what I really like about it, what's really beautiful is just like the fanned out look that it gives my lashes. I don't even really think that I need two coats, but I do two coats just because I don't know, I like really bold lashes. This is a very beautiful mascara. I also like the fact that even though the wand, it is curved, it's not so exaggeratedly curved that it makes it hard to apply. And also when you have that really curved wand. I feel like it's hard to get the little lashes in the corners and on the lower lash line. So I like the fact that this is nice and tapered, but with a slight little curve. I can't comment too much on whether or not it holds a curl well because my lashes are, they sort of naturally have a curl to them. So I might not be the best person to comment on that, but in terms of longevity, in terms of it lasting, not flaking, not smudging, it's really good. I would highly recommend checking this out. Maybe after you use up one of your mascaras or in the upcoming Sephora sale, I think this will definitely be a recommendation. Sorry if the lighting is a little weird, friends. The sun is going down earlier now and I had to put the shades down because it was blinding me. Anyway, the rest of my favorites for this video are all lip products. I think it's because I've been doing sort of simpler eye looks this month just because it's summer, I just want something a little bit easy. And then I've just really been enjoying playing around with my different lipsticks and lip glosses and that kind of stuff. The first two that I have here are the ones that I picked up as a part of the Chanel Fall Collection. I would say that collection as a whole was definitely a favorite, but I wanted to pick the thing that I've been using the most, like my top favorite for this month. And I definitely think it was the Rouge Coco Blooms. Let me show you the two shades that I picked up. This one right here is the Nude and that one is called Ease. I feel like this works for everybody. It's a really good everyday shade. I just keep this one in my purse whenever I just like need something, a color that goes with basically every makeup look. I can just pop this one on. And then this one is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today. And this one is called Wild. I love this shade for fall. It's so beautiful. And I like the fact that it's a color, but I don't need to use like a lip liner. Or you can apply these without a mirror too. Like they're so easy and hydrating. This is the kind of thing that, you know, I can do a very simple makeup look. If you don't, you don't see my mouth here, it's a very simple look, but then you can make it extra special and interesting by adding a beautiful fall berry lip. Who doesn't look good in that? So beautiful. And then the other formula I've really been liking is this new one from Dior. This is the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid. These are the new liquid lipsticks, but they're shiny. They're not drying. So if you are intrigued by liquid lipsticks, but every time you try them, you just like, you can't really get behind them because they're usually matte. You might wanna check out these new ones from Dior. I have the shade Nude Touch. It's a little pinkier and deeper than Ease right there from Chanel. And these, they just, they're so interesting. Like they just last and cling to the lips, but they never get gross. They never get dry. They're beautiful and shiny. I can link the video down below where I did the demonstration of that shade. So you can kind of see what it looks like on me. Really, really like that formula. Also, I really love the Prada lipsticks. I think last time I did a favorites video, I might've just reviewed this collection. Everything from Prada Beauty, I absolutely loved, but the lipsticks are definitely my top recommendation because there's a shade for everybody and there's also a like a soft matte formula and then there's the hyper matte formula. And I explained the difference between all of them in, in the demo and in the review and everything. But long story short, I really like both of the formulas. The one I wanted to swatch here just for comparison is called Fauve. I recently demoed this one for you. That's what Fauve looks like. So these are all of the three nudes that I've been rotating between. It's kind of like the matte version of the Dior Nude Touch maybe like a little bit lighter. Oh my gosh, these formulas are so, so good. I think that this might be one of my favorite 
matte lipstick formulas ever. They do set down a little bit more than like the Lisa Eldridge, for example, but they feel very comfortable. They don't feel drying at all. Speaking of Lisa Eldridge, the last favorite that I have in this video is the one shade that I picked up in the Velveteen Liquid lip color. I only got one shade because I already do have a lot of the shades that she released in this formula in the regular bullet lipstick formula, but I did pick it up in the shade Rain, and that's because I've been wanting this color for so long. So I was very excited that she released it in this color. Oh my goodness, I'll show you a demo of me applying this. This is a stunning color. I know she calls it a rain-soaked rose, so it's kind of like a bright rose, but desaturated, just kind of dialed back a bit. I think it's absolutely stunning. I remember I wore this to work because I had like a big meeting or whatever, and I didn't feel like I stood out, like I was wearing a super bright lip, but I think it still looked very beautiful, very like perfected and professional because it gives that really neat matte look to the lips because it is a liquid lipstick. If you guys caught my Valentino liquid lipstick review, at the end of that video, I do a comparison between the Valentino, the Lisa Eldridge, the Charlotte Tilbury, and the Tom Ford liquid lipstick. So if you guys are wondering how those compare, check out that video. What I think is nice about the Lisa Eldridge is that it's still a pretty lightweight formula. You don't feel cognizant of it on your lips, but it's still very pigmented. And I like the way that it wears. It doesn't get gross. It doesn't get dried out. I feel like I can continue to reapply without having to like completely wipe it off and redo it again. It's a really nice formula. I'm not a liquid lipstick expert by any means, but this is definitely one of the best that I have tried. And also guys, I think I said in that review that I probably wouldn't put this on my cheeks as blush. I was wrong. Oh my goodness, I was wrong. I've been doing that. I, I was like, you know what? I gotta try this out. This looks so good on the cheeks as blush. It's not gonna blend as seamlessly as like the Valentino ones, but wow, does it last. It lasts all day. So what I do is I put this on the lips and then I put a little bit on each cheek, blend it in real well. I do a little frosty eye just like this. Oh my gosh, I've been loving that look. So yeah, all of these lippies guys, have been so, so good. And that's all I got for you, friends. Those are my favorites for the month of August. I will say, I did really like the Natasha Denona I Need a New Palette. I reviewed that for you guys, but I didn't include it here in my favorites because I felt like I didn't use it as much as a lot of the single eyeshadows that I've really been enjoying, but I did think it was a really beautiful palette. So I just wanna say that in case anybody asks. And now it is your turn, friends. Sound off in the comments down below and let me know what were all of your favorites from the month of August. What have you been loving lately? What new releases are you looking forward to? If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I would very much appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.